sugar development levy, saying that there is no justification to exempt only imported industrial sugar from paying the sugar development levy, while all other imported sugar is subjected to the levy. Honorable Speaker, honestly, I have to express my disappointment with the Mediation Committee because I am in the unique position where I am the Senator of the City of Nairobi, but I'm also a sugarcane farmer. That unique position allows me to have perspective of the various interests that we were trying to protect, unlike my colleagues from uh, upcountry, whose perspective was limited uh, in my view, and I uh, very respectfully submit to the perspective of the farmer and the local sugar industries. Honorable Speaker, I took time to have a meeting with the Mediation Committee, at least our representatives from the Senate, the people who are members of this Mediation Committee are people that are known personally to me. I consider them my friends. The Honorable Peter Masara, who, I will, who will be hosting me as his SG in his constituency on Saturday, Honorable Speaker. Senator Richard Onyonka. The Honorable Walter Awino, Member of Parliament for Awendo. He's a personal friend. And of course, uh, my mother's Member of Parliament, the Honorable John Makali, Member of Parliament for Kandui constituency. Honorable Speaker, I have even more friends on this committee, including the member of Parliament for Lugari, the Honorable Nabi Nabuera, who I know is very passionate about these things. What I try to persuade them, Honorable Speaker, to see is that there has to be a distinction in the way in, the way in which we treat imported uh, regular table sugar and imported industrial sugar. When we are talking about protecting our farmers, the threat is not caused or does not originate from industrial sugar. In fact, Honorable Speaker, it is foolhardy to say that you're protecting local industries when you apply this levy to uh, industrial sugar, knowing very well that in Kenya today, there is no single industry that produces white industrial sugar. So I was hoping that a distinction would be made because Honorable Speaker, as a senator for Nairobi, the industries that we are talking about account for 60% of all employment of the people of Nairobi. These are big stakeholders for city senators such as myself. If there is no local production of a commodity, you cannot claim to protect local industry when that local industry does not exist. In fact, I pleaded with the mediation committee that they even allow a, 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 a time frame like it can be a sunset close that immediately the country is able to uh, produce or to have capacity to produce white industrial sugar, then maybe we can introduce this levy. Honorable Speaker, this white industrial sugar, the, way, the reason why I was seeking that exemption is that it is used in just about everything that uh, consume, we consume here in, in Nairobi and across the country. It is used in baked goods, confectionaries, that is sweets, juices, sodas, and beer. Honorable Speaker. And over the period of time that we have seen, although the Senator Fonandi was pleading that the industry should not pass this cost, I can assure you that no manufacturer is going to take this cost upon themselves. You are going to see a rise in the cost of these basic commodities that I thought we would try and cushion Kenyans, especially because, Honorable Speaker, we are still discussing the high cost of living. There has to be that balance. And when I appeared before the members of uh, the Senate who are members of this committee, I thought that I, would provide, I had provided that justification, uh, that we needed that exemption just to protect industry. I am also aware that if you look at both manifestos of the Azimio coalition and the manifesto of the Kenya Kwanzaa government, we leaned heavy on industrialization, uh, industrialization, that it was a desire of both of these coalitions to put in place policies that encourage investment. Honorable Speaker, over the period of time that I have been a senator here, the past two financial years, because of uh, multiple increases in taxation, you speak to many of these uh, uh, factories, they will tell you their sales have dropped. They have experienced drops in sales because of incessant increases of prices due to new taxation every financial year. And I suspect that this is also going to put the pressure further on these manufacturers because, Honorable Speaker, it is going to increase the cost of production. When the cost of production increases and then we see higher prices for these commodities, we will see lower sales, which directly translate to uh, shrinking uh, uh, employment in terms of the number of people that can be hired. Uh, factories in Nairobi here, Honorable Speaker, that have closed down entire production lines 
because they can no longer manage to uh, sustain the cost of wages in, in, in those factories. So, Honorable Speaker, whereas I supported wholeheartedly uh, the sugar bill, uh, especially from the perspective of the farmer, uh, I had hoped that at least on this particular uh, single issue, the committee would have accommodated the manufacturers as well, so that as we encourage and develop our capacity to produce this commodity uh, locally, then there is really no need for us to uh, lump this together. I had a conversation, Honorable uh, Speaker, with uh, the Honorable Emmanuel Wangwe, who's my neighbor up, up country, and uh, also a friend, and was a chair of this committee. And his explanation is that there have been instances within the industry where people actually import regular sugar under the guise of uh, industrial sugar. And uh, my argument uh, to him then was that, yes, in just about every endeavor in this country, there are people who will try to uh, be clever and circumvent rules and, and so on and so forth, but it should not be a cause uh, to mete out punishment on, on the entire industry. So let it be what it is. I am hoping that uh, the members of the committee who have not spoken will be a little bit clearer, clearer than the senator of Nandi about what he was saying the committee was proposing to do uh, with uh, industrial sugar in light of the matters that I have raised, Honorable Speaker. I don't know if he meant that uh, uh, when the next finance bill is brought up that there will be an exemption or that uh, I, I really didn't get uh, the reasoning of the committee and I'm hoping that somebody will clear that up for me. Other than that, Honorable Speaker, I am in full support of all the other uh, amendments because these are proposals that we supported here on the floor during uh, debate on the actual bill and uh, I'm hoping that it will now go to assuage uh, the situation on the ground. I can also confirm, Honorable Speaker, that the roads, especially around my rural home, are in a terrible state, uh, Honorable Speaker, and we're hoping that uh, once this uh, levy, now that you have decided that you must take it, Honorable Senator Cherargue, we will be seeing an improvement in the county roads uh, because they will be having resources to be able to repair and maintain these roads. Honorable Speaker, with those many remarks, I thank you and I support. Senator Issa. Sante sana, Mwishimwa Speaker, kuni pafurusa hii na mini weze kuchangia. Mwishimwa Speaker, mimi kama Senator